Hi, I'm Derek Anderson, and uh, we built this attic lift here in uh, Fort Worth, and we use it to carry boxes up and down into the attic. So uh, let me show you here um, basically what the platform itself is made of. So what we have here is it's made of one inch square tubing here, and the cables are attached up here with a 300 pound capacity D-ring right here. And the platform itself is 26 inches wide and f by 44 inches long and 52 inches high. And the platform itself weighs 75 pounds altogether. So we're going to go up into the attic and show you the motor and the rest of the attic lift. Alright, so now I'm going to let my dad talk about the hardware specifications of the garage lift. Hi, I'm Judson, and I want to uh, kind of give you some information about the parts that we used and how they operate to move the platform up and down uh, in and out of the attic. Uh, first of all, we have uh, standard uh, garage door parts that we got from a company that services garage doors. Um, the uh, drums where the cable uh, is controlled, uh, end plates that stabilize this steel rod. And then that's all attached to a uh, hoist motor that we bought at Harbor Freight. Uh, this hoist motor uh, operates on 3.9 amps and has 400 pounds of capacity using two cables. Um, what we had to do is we had to take the uh, existing cable out of the uh, frame of the motor and then weld a deep socket onto this tube and then slide it over the uh, shaft uh, in order then to connect the motor to the shaft and uh, the hardware that pulls the cable up and down. Um, you'll also notice that we built this frame, this sturdy frame that uh, holds uh, everything together. This is a 2x10 uh, piece of lumber that uh, the garage door hardware is bolted to and then we use 2x6's for the framing. I'll go ahead and uh, raise the lift and show you how it operates. Okay, this was, uh, this was a fun project. We probably spent a couple of weeks in total working on it. Um, we uh, had a local welding shop weld the platform for us and uh, we uh, then uh, built the frame and put all the hardware together and then finally got it uh, operational. It was a pretty easy project. Um, there's a number of people on YouTube that have built similar lifts that uh, I viewed and was able to copy uh, a lot of their ideas. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully this will help you as well as you look uh, to do a DIY project of your own. So anyway, you can uh, find me on YouTube if you have any questions. Uh, and uh, have a good time with it and have a great day.